Hey guys, what's up? It's Card Shuffler 99 here today. We're going to show you guys an awesome trick. But before we get into that, we do have a giveaway on our channel. So if you want to be entered on that giveaway, we're giving away 10 Theory 11 decks. $30 in Amazon gift cards and if you want to be entered all you have to do is like this video guys Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you have to comment at least one time You know, maybe something like about the channel your, your favorite memory anything like that and you'll be entered in our giveaway Make sure you check out our patreon uh, we just started that and There'll be a link in the description credit and also in the description, this is called Diamond Cutter. So what we'll do is we would ask our spectator to select any card. So let's say they selected this one right here. They would take a look. It's fine if I see it, guys. It really doesn't matter. And what I'll do is I would ask the spectator to lift up on the deck wherever they'd like. So let's say they lift up right there. Perfect. We're going to take their card, the Seven of Diamonds. I would ask them to take their selection, place it there, and complete the cut. So, their selection is the Seven of Diamonds. So, what we'll do is we'll just snap our fingers, and we can actually get one card to turn face up in the deck. And it just happens to be your card, the Ace of Spades. That This isn't your card. Now, all right, so what we'll do is, well, we'll just set the ace over here. We don't need that now. What we'll do is, I believe your card is somewhere in this half of the cards here. So what we're going to do is, I think it's exactly 10, maybe 20 cards. I, I think it's somewhere between 10 and 20 cards down. Would I ask the spectator to give me any number between 10 and 20? So let's say they say 15. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen cards right there. Now, I think your card is actually somewhere in this fifteen. What we can do is we can actually add up the digits of fifteen. So one and five to get six. And watch. One, two, three, four, five, six. And on the sixth card, it just happens to be your selection. The seven of diamonds. And what we can do is not only that, this ace isn't for nothing. We just give the piles each attack. You can actually get all four aces to appear. That is the trick, guys. Let's learn how to do it. So um, there is a setup for this trick, as you may guess, and let's learn what the setup is. And yeah, so what you're going to do is get the four aces out of the deck. You do not need exactly uh, 52 cards for this trick. Um, it's just this trick is sort of almost a little bit mathematical. So you, you'll see in a little bit. So what the setup is, is if you want the ace of spades to be the first card face up, you're going to put it face up. So what I first recommend doing is just count out eight cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So just count out eight cards onto the table. Set the rest of the deck aside. You can do this with any four of a kind. Uh, you can do it with kings, queens, jacks, whatever you guys would like. It really doesn't matter um, what you do this trick with. And what you're going to do is you're going to take um, any two. It doesn't matter what color they are. It, it really doesn't. So the ace of clubs, ace of hearts. You're going to place one on the bottom of this pile. And then simply one on the top of this pile. So basically it's eight cards, then one face down ace, another face down ace. Then you're going to take your ace of spades. Now, um, depending on what ace you want face up, um, you're just going to place that on top of this pile with the just face up like that. Then you're going to take the final ace, that doesn't really matter, and you're going to place that on top of the deck, and you're going to place this on the bottom of the deck. So let's go through the setup one more time. You have an ace on the top. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have face up ace after face down ace. And then you're going to have eight cards. So eight cards here. And then one more ace. So that is the setup. And let's get into how to do the trick. So you're going to have this on the bottom of the deck. Now, you cannot really spread the cards because an ace can flash. So 
you can what i do recommend is the smartest way to do this is just riffle down through the deck and then just have them say stop and then they can select a card like that um if you do spread through the deck they just don't go too far to where you can see the ace because you don't want them to select the ace or any card below it so make sure they do not select any card below the ace or the ace itself and also make sure they don't select the top card which is actually another ace so make sure they don't select the cop top card just say you're a magician you, you already know what that is you know so from here you have them select the card let's say they select this one right here it really doesn't matter what card they select um so the ten of clubs now once again just make sure you don't flash that ace that that is really what's important here so just don't flash the ace you can have them select the card any way you want so after that they select the card this part is a little bit risky here um having them lift up you're just going to place the deck down and then you're going to have them lift up wherever they want now there is that chance that they happen to lift up um past the ace which or onto the ace and you really don't want that to happen so if if you're really comfortable with your spectator you just say you know try to get about you know a fourth or half the cards it really doesn't matter and then they'll try to get, you know, a fourth or third or half, whatever you say. Um, if you don't, they might try to take up a lot of cards. And next thing you know, they lift up right to the ace. So really make sure you trust your spectator. If you don't, it's fine. You can just riffle down and have them say stop. And then once you get to the bottom, let's say they still haven't say stop, just riffle through and restart. So really just make sure you don't land on the ace or anywhere past the ace. So they go through and let's say they say stop here. That's perfectly fine. They can lift up. Perfect. What you're gonna do is you're gonna place their card face down there and then they can complete the cut. Just make sure the cards are squared up because you don't want that ace to flash. It's definitely possible for that ace to easily flash there. So from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna spread out the card, snap your fingers, do whatever you want, and you can show there is a face up ace. So from here, what you're going to do is you're gonna split the deck exactly where that ace is. So you're gonna take all these cards and you're gonna say one card turns face up in the deck, and it just happens to be your card, the Ace of Spades. Now really, you both know it's not their card. So what you're gonna do, is you're gonna, you're gonna be like, oh wait, it wasn't your card, my bad. What you're gonna do is you're gonna get a break under the top card, you can pinky count, or you can just push the top card off and get a pinky break just like that. You're gonna take the Ace, and you're going to put it back on top of this deck, like that square it up so that the two you have the two cards right here you're going to square it up and then you're going to lift it up and you're going to place it on top of this pile right here just like that so basically what you've done is you've taken an ace right here you have a break under it and you're stealing off this ace and you're placing it on top of there square that up make sure they don't get you know suspicious anything like that and you're gonna you know you're gonna say you know you guess their card is you know 10 or 20 cards you know so just say whatever you want and you're gonna have them choose any number between 10 and 20 so let's say they say eight so or why did i say that uh my bad guy like 18 so if they say 18 that's fine just any number between 10 and 20 so they say 18 that's fine so make sure you remember this number and when you do this always go to the uh, opposite side of this ace and you'll see why in a little bit so when you do this pile you're gonna go to the exact opposite side you're not gonna do it right next to it you're gonna go over here and do it so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen so you count eighteen cards and what you're gonna do is the cards remaining in your hand you're gonna lift this pile up and you're gonna place this pile right there. And it's very important that you place this pile right here because you'll notice this pile actually does not have an ace. So you'll see what happens in a little bit. So you're gonna, mathematically wise, after you count down the cards, if you add up the digits, uh, one and eight, or whatever number they chose, so nine, and you count that amount of card down, you can do it right next to the ace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the ninth card will be their card. You're gonna place this pile right here. So what you've done is just make sure that first pile is all the way off to the side and the other two piles go in the middle. Why? These two piles have aces, this one does not, and this one has 
and ace over here. So what you're going to do is after you do that, after you get all the piles separated, you can show that's actually their selection. You're going to pick up this ace. You can just tap all piles and you're going to bring it to the other side, place it down where there's no ace. There's no ace here. So what you're going to do is you're going to place it down here and then you can re reveal the uh, four aces. That is the trick, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. And this is Card Shuffler 99. Peace out, guys.